Defence Minister Rajnath Singh launched India's first indigenous defence AI as a service platform, ECAM AI, at Chanakya Defence Dialogue in Delhi on Friday. The highlight of this project lies in its ability to provide complete control over data security, tailored solutions to military terminology, operational doctrines and specific data sets. The project developed uh, uh, the framework and platform for deployment and hosting of all open source and indigenous AI models running on state-of-the-art AI applications. Thus will be a game changer for Defence Forces. The platform has been developed by a startup for the Indian Army. DD India correspondent Vishal Barasto gets us more. 2025 is a year of reforms and I have with me a startup company that has come up with a unique solution. The Defence Minister has unveiled their AI which is called Akam AI and what is so special about it, let's talk to Ushpinder first. Ushpinder, when we talk about the LLMs, for the benefit of our, of our viewers, please ex explain LLM and how will it benefit Indian Army. Uh, there was a challenge that was opened up by the Ministry of Defence under IDEX uh, to create AI as a service. Uh, we participated in that and uh, we were the ones who won this uh, competition as part of Ministry of Defence. Uh, the objective is how do you create large language models, small language models for the Indian Army trained on Indian Army data on an air gap system, right, where a Jawan sitting uh, across the country who may want to need some help can run a simple query and get a response which is purely built, uh, trained on the Army data. I just want to introduce Tarang, who's also a project lead for this, and she'll help you with more details. So to say that how will it help the Indian Army is uh, its decision-making, uh, its operational information flow will really, really be enhanced by the ACOM AI that we are bringing in, that Neuralix is, has bought in uh, the ecosystem of the uh, Indian Army. And furthermore, the automated workflows. So it goes down from every Jawan to the topmost hierarchy that it will be useful at every level in the Indian Army. Now, when we talk about uh, the LLMs, ChatGPT is quite popular. So how is uh, your ACOM AI different from ChatGPT? What we are building is we are building a model right from the scratch, which will be trained on the Indian Army data. So. So to say, to, to put it as an example, whatever you ask from that model which we are creating, that is going to answer from the knowledge which pertains to the Indian Army itself. So there will be no you know, external knowledge that will be keep shoving from the model and towards the user, especially the Army. Take the security as a consideration. What we do is the every data that, that we are using to train our model that goes through a pipeline which is very secured. So we work on machines which are absolutely cut down from the internet. So there will be no access to the internet, so no data can just go to the internet because we understand how critical the army data can be. So there's, a, uh, there's an absolute process and SOP which we follow to maintain the criticality of the model. And that model will only answer related to the questions of, uh, about the Indian Army. The other model is we are giving a marketplace for a bunch of applications where we are helping the Indian Army in day-to-day -day tasks such as creating PPT, uh, creating documents, creating SO, uh, SOC for an Indian Army. So that, that task which would usually take one to two hours or two or three guys to, to complete. Now using our models, they can just do it with a couple of minutes and with a couple of clicks. So there you heard these uh, young minds. They are all with new solutions. AI is uh, the mantra and we are looking forward towards the year of reforms and more such inventions and innovations are expected. With cameraman Vimlesh in Delhi, this is Vishal Baristo for DD India.